start it off. Um, you know, it's been a few weeks uh, since you guys have played. Um, you know, obviously you were planning to play um, last weekend and then things got moved around and then postponed. Don't know if you're going to make that up at this point yet, but you know, how have things been in practice and leading into this weekend? Are you expecting to have everybody available? Well, I don't know if I'll have everybody. Don't know yet. I mean, I'd probably be more like game time, but, you know, we'll see on that. Not for sure with that. And all, you know, as, as you well know, it's been, um, I guess, three weeks since we've played. Um, Old Dominion was a, yeah, Old Dominion was a first series that canceled. And um, then there was us with um, Florida Atlantic in this weekend. So, you know, it's all been a little bit different, you know, especially after we got tested. Had, had our first positive in our program. Uh, again, our guys have done unbelievable job up this point um, for us not to have any. So, but when you have some, you know, through contact tracing and all that changes a lot of things, how you practice, how many guys you got to practice. Um, and even after Old Dominion, uh, we did a lot of individual work then versus team team stuff at that point. So. You know, naturally, it's been three weeks. We're all excited to get back to playing again. Uh, you, know, you know, we practice so much this time of year. Uh, we need to get back and get us some rhythm how we were playing. Coach, this is uh, Nick Keezer from the College Heights Herald. I know that week in and week out, you say that you guys take it, you know, game in and game out, just, just as far as your approach goes. But with the games that are left on the schedule, how crucial is it for you guys to sort of, you know, utilize the games that you that you have left and sort of go out on a high note? Well, Nick, uh, you know, I, I think this, they, they all, all the games are important. Every game you play all year long, you know, the ones you play back in December, in November, count the same as the ones you play in February. They're all one win and one loss. Well, I think it's very obvious come February, middle of February and early March, they start taking on a, a little bit different meaning sometimes. Uh, they start getting magnified a little bit because you can kind of see some things taking place in your conference and where you stand. So, you know, from that standpoint, uh, you know, you can kind of see that a little bit better. Uh, but, you know, our philosophy is the same. we got to take them one at a time, one game at a time. And at the end of I guess we got eight more games in conference play. You know, that team that, you know, wins the most games in conference, you know, will will be the team that wins the championship. Coach, this is Jeff Lighty. Uh, how do you think your team will react to having three weeks off? Like you say, you've been practicing, but it's not the same as playing the games. Um, well, that's a good question, uh, Jeff. We'll, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's very obvious, you know, uh, you know, a, a week's rest in the middle of your middle of your schedule, you know, sometimes not a bad thing. Never had three weeks uh, this time of year. I mean, that's normally that's what you got just to start practice, three weeks practice, and you play your first game. So I've never had that. And it's just not the practice is how we've had to do practice a little bit. We've had a lot of, um, like I said, individual skill practice. Um, you know, we've been without being able to, Sometimes you don't have enough to go, you know, five on five. You got to break them up in different groups. So all that's been a little bit different. But at the same time, you know, as a player, you much rather be playing games, that's for sure. And uh, like I said earlier, we're excited to try to get back and, you know, get some consistency back uh, in the playing those games. Even though they're back to back, uh, it's difficult that is. Uh, uh, we like to get that back, get that going again, and get some rhythm back in our program. And Coach, regarding the get the series that have been canceled to this point, I know there's already a scheduled makeup date for the Old Dominion. What's the talk in the program or even in the conference about makeup for multiple series that have been canceled? Hal, you're you're looking down the road, too much foresight there, and too much forward thinking to be able to figure all that out right now. We have no clue about 
any more of that. You know, I guess, you know, the Old Dominion thing's been talked about, so I don't think that's been announced yet. And uh, we would look at it on paper and think that's a logical team we can make up. I don't know for that for sure. You know, sometimes logic ain't always, we don't always make decisions based on that for sure. So uh, right now, all I know how to be for sure, and nothing's for sure. Uh, we have Rice this weekend, North Texas, and I think we have Florida International at last weekend, and we have a week to make up games. And your question, County, is can you make up multiple series that week? Could you go play somebody one game and play another team one game? You know, all those would be legit questions that probably need to be asked uh, and see what's best, just any best for, you know, some equality, who's playing who, where, and all that. You know, home games and amount of games you're playing at home, and some teams void some other better teams, you know, twice. Uh, again, the quality of, you know, how it's kind of shapes up, there's not a lot of consistency with that right now. So, but I don't have the answer to your question. When you get it, call me, let me know. Yeah. Because this is such a uh, weird year and everything like that with COVID and whatnot. Have you reached out to some of the other coaches in the state who have also dealt with COVID outbreaks on the team like Louisville and Kentucky just to try to get some advice on how to handle um, coming back and bringing the team back once you've had this kind of long break? No, Deuce, I haven't, had, I haven't done that. I've talked to some other coaches. I haven't talked to anybody in the state. And like I said, we really haven't had that issue. Uh, hadn't been our issue. You know, I think maybe some people in the states had their own issues in the state. Uh, we hadn't had that. You know, we got canceled by uh, Bow Dominion, and we had one we had one weekend. So it really hadn't been an ongoing situation uh, for us. Uh, maybe like it has some programs. Uh, and Deuce, you probably you're around the Louisville program. I guess you guys have probably been on. Y'all have had pause three or four times, haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. For the men's and women's programs. Men's and women's. How many games has Louisville lost? Seven, uh, I think. Seven? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so. Uh, you know, what's a little different for us, too, when you lose, you know, it's not like you lose a Wednesday, Saturday. Maybe sometimes somebody can't play a Wednesday, but go play a Saturday. But when we lose one, we lose two because they're all back-to-back, -to -back too. So that's a difficult thing with us, but. No, but I have a to answer your question, Deuce. Coach, just kind of going off that, just how is the health of the team? You know, you had the positive case, but is the player feeling okay? Are the rest of the players feeling okay? How is the overall health of the team? Yeah, Jeff, we, we, we're, we're fine. Uh, we, feel, we feel good where we're at for the most part, for the most part. Uh, you know, I think our guys, like I said, you know, they're just ready to get back and playing games. And let's get – some consistency back in your program. And again, you know, you, you don't ever have a three week break in, in January in, or January and February. You know, this is the first year you've ever had to deal with this kind of stuff. That's abnormal to everybody, players, coaches, fans, everyone. You guys, you guys don't know what you all do. And we're not playing on what you, Jerry, you don't even have a job then, do you? You sit around, what else you have to do, man? We, we've got all the sports starting up right now in the spring. So I've been busy. Yeah, we got a high school. Oh, you've been busy. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's the right thing to say anyway, Jared. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these things get recorded, so. Oh, uh, you, you said the right thing. That's what you got to say. Deuce, I know you working hard. Nick, everybody working hard. Hal, you don't have to lie about, lie about no more, man. You retired. I got nothing to do and all day to do it. Perfect. You the, only, you the honest one on there right there. I like that. That's the first honest answer I had. Jeff, I'm not going to ask you, man. I saw you on TV this morning. So I know you're working hard. Uh, hey, Coach, Jared with the Daily News again. Um, you know, looking ahead to Rice, um, third best scoring offense in the league. They've got the four players averaging at least 11 and a half with the three guards and Oliveri coming off the conference player of the week, Evie and Mullins. Um, seems like they're a team that shoots a lot of threes, um, over 28 and a half per game, and they make over 10 and a half per game. And then they've got the big guy, Fielder, down low, who, you know, shoots at a high percentage but doesn't, you know, shoot outside shots much. I guess, what have you seen from them that allows them to have some success offensively? Well, I think just what you just said is what we see. You know, a bunch of guys that can score the basketball and shoot the basketball. 
And you got two guys shooting 40, 40 and 45 percent, and just not shooting there, shooting a lot of them, uh, a lot of them. Uh, got a four guy can really stretch the court, and you know, five guy. Uh, I think he's third in the league in assist turnover ratio. I think he's got 50 some assists, 20 some turnovers. You don't see that out of a big guy. So they're very, very good offensively. Uh, they've been in every game they've played, uh, the games they've lost, every game but one. Uh, they've, they've been right in it. You know, first half, either big leads or, or leads, and uh, either home or away. So anytime you have the ability to score the basketball and shoot the basketball, you have a chance against anybody. Coach, this is uh, Nick again. Uh, looking at the schedule, I believe you guys, out of the next six games, at least four of them are going to be at home. Just how, how crucial is that for you guys to end the, the uh, regular season? Well, um, um, well, it's always if you get a choice playing home on the road, you're going to play at home for sure. So I think um, I'm going to right say this, five of our first eight have been on the road. Is that correct? Five of our first eight's been on the road. So we've been at home three times all season. Is that a correct statement? Conference season. Yes, it is. So um, we can finish up with, um, yes, one, two, three, two series at home for sure and one on the road. We'll see where, where that last week goes. You know, for you personally, it's been even longer since you've been on the sideline coaching in a game, I believe since the game at Marshall, you know, for you personally, how exciting is it to just get back out there? Well, again, this is just, you know, this is um, no time, you know, from a, uh, you know, it wasn't for a, uh, injury or sickness. And again, only, only games I ever missed in my career and whatever it's been was that, that year I had that back surgery, four games. And the only other game, I woke up down there in Middle Tennessee and had that fever that morning. If we didn't have COVID, it wouldn't have been a factor. No one would worry about it. You just keep playing on. Hey, coach 100 games like that. But because of a fever, you know, first thing we all look at, and I understand it, I get it. You know, it was a concern, uh, but it has been. But, you know, as a coach, you want to get back to some consistency too in what you do this time of year, you know. Uh, you only know, do so many practices and individual practices, trying to keep find the edge to keep your kids fresh physically and mentally. But at the same time, you know, you understand that, you know, playing's two weeks off and, you know, mentally that's a different way of practicing. So uh, it's all been a little bit different. I'd like to get back on a routine and hopefully we get back on this routine this weekend and back to some consistency next week. The days were on, days were off and how we practice. We good?